Robert's Library is not only the largest library at the University of Toronto, but it is also the largest academic library in Canada. The library's appearance sparks conflicting opinions from many U of T students. A southeastern view of the massive concrete facade resembles the shape of a turkey. Many students argue the building's brutalist style creates an unwelcoming feeling. Scary. It's scary. Why do you think it's scary? It's jail. Still, the building serves as many as 18,000 people on busy days. The library provides many valuable services and collections such as the Thomas Fisher Rare Book Library, the Media Commons, Bookstacks, and more. Is the library's foreboding architecture downright ugly, or should it be appreciated as an example of brutalist architecture? We've asked students for their opinions. So is Robarts ugly? Yeah. Why do you think so? Uh, it's just, it's gray. Kind of reminds me of a prison. There's right. no lights on the inside. It's, no. No, it's not <laughs> a vibe. Is that why you don't study there? Yeah. Yeah? I think it's depressing. Yeah, and why do you think it's depressing? You seem very confident in that claim. Uh, it's, uh, it's very dim. Like, if you compare it to the like, Gersh scene, Gersh scene has so much natural light. And like, yeah, I just like studying with the natural light. Okay. And yeah, yeah, Robert just has too much. Like, it's just like, overrated. it's very different. Yeah, it's overrated. Okay, and so would you guys like recommend it as a study spot? Nah, I'd no, I'd recommend we didn't want no. to no. Maybe if it would open again, like 24 hours, no, then... No. It's a inside, pretty yeah. brutalist architecture. It seems like everyone agrees that there's something about Robert's massive, blocky appearance that stands out. We sat down with Professor Mary Louise Lobsinger of the Daniels Faculty of Architecture to learn more about the library. It, the easiest would say, yes, it's brutalist, but then we'd have to um, look at where that term came from and who coined that term and what it first meant. They called it brute because it was simple and straightforward that you understood exactly how the pieces went together. There was no fanciness around um, the design of it. and. Uh, it was, it was meant to be simple, straightforward, and almost like a version of modernism of 20 years earlier, but without the kind of way it was becoming sort of fancied up and made into a style in the 50s and 60s. So if that's the original term, but not the way that it's developed in the early 60s, um, we could say not really, because this building is really sophisticated, you know? in its um, interior, um, use of materials interiorly and in its organization and even the concrete. It's, it's always been kind of iconic. It's, it's got that iconic design, it's got the, the history associated with it, as well as it's, it's kind of homey. So, so it, it would be nice to, to have it a little bit modernized, but, but I, think, I think it's got something classic about it. And I've been here for quite a few years, so it's, it's, it's nice. Um, first of all, it's really great that people are engaged with it, right? It's really great that people have an opinion on it, and that's part of um, public discourse and, and useful. And, you know, if they uh, can say why, and that, that means that it's interacting in the city and they're part of their city. Because there are so many buildings, and even in our, you know, around the campus, it's like, you just don't even think about them. They're nondescript. They don't give any character. And it's got character, right? It's got character. That's what you can say. And it's something that people will talk about and engage in. I actually really appreciate Robarts, even though like people say it's kind of sad because it's such like a you know, it's such a concrete building. There's no like light and so I get in that sense like it might not be the most aesthetically pleasing building, but I'm I certainly appreciate the fact that it's there, yeah, for yeah. sure. And I actually really am fond of the peaks, you know, those I would go and just like stare at north or south or whatever. So that was a really thoughtful idea, right? Rather than the carols being in the center or where we now work in the center and everybody in the dark kind of working away and that, that the students were given this privilege of having their um, desks right next to the exterior. And so there was a really kind of ceremonial thing to it, whereas now, you know, you dig down into the Scotia Bank Center, whatever it's called, and you come up through the center. So that's radically changed from the imagination. And um, that kind of ceremonial up those side stairs and you enter into, um, I think people are missing an experience. Of course, it's got all sorts of issues with accessibility that they weren't thinking about at the time. 
They can uh, add some plants, some fake plants around. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. No, I study better better in dungeon like <laughs> circumstances. Oh, so. Yeah. Do you think you'd get like distracted in nicer places? Yeah, I do. Okay. Yeah. Oh, it's a very high quality building. So it might be this atrocity in, on the campus to some people or just ugly or you know, whatever reason people don't like it. You have to go up all those, you know, floors in the elevator to find a desk or something like that, uh, the way it's laid out now. But it stands in quality with buildings um, like Dartmouth Library, um, Yale University, you're familiar with the architecture building there, the art and architecture building there. And you go, well, oh my goodness, it's like of that quality. But in the UK, um, in France, Italy, um, and like I say, other um, in universities in the States where um, a lot of building was done on, on campus building at the same time. And um, so that's really significant. We have a building that is in Canada, in Toronto, that is of the quality that ranks internationally. The U of T community holds divided opinions on Robert's library. Debating the aesthetic merits of Robert's means that students engage with it. Even if you feel it's ugly <laughs> and, and awful, that um, it was meant to be something different and was really thoughtful. The discussion of Robert's ugliness is part of the reason it remains one of the most interesting and divisive buildings on campus.